Hello everyone and welcome to Spicy Toast Gaming and our playthrough of Yasuo vs. Galio. So part 2 of our Yasuo guide. And part 1 will be linked down below. But we're just going in-game to show you how you can actually um, play Yasuo and use the information from the guide uh, to clear some of the tougher encounters in the game. So none of these are particularly great for Yasuo, so we'll re-roll. Um, Fury is really good for Yasuo himself, he scales up very high with that. But I think we'll try a little bit more. Perfect. So, getting another stun each round, that'll be very nice. Um, the Overwhelm is pretty good, but the extra stuns will be very helpful. We will see if they still stun the same unit, um, but when Yas was on the board, normally he can kill a unit and then the stun will hit another unit, so he gets to remove two at once. So we actually won't re-roll as aggressively. Um, we're over level 20, we only have one champion, so we know we're going to draw Yasuo. There he is. Approaching the battlefront. So we don't have any units to play this round, but that's fine. Because we know their unit is gonna get stunned out. Ready for deployment! The dark beckons. Form up! So we can just stun them out. Okay, so it is actually hitting um, both targets. That is um, great. I know with at least getting two of these powers, they would normally hit the same target twice. So I'm glad this actually is a bit smarter that it will only hit the target that is uh, not stunned. But Yas was already maxed out. Maybe I do have a future. I go where the road takes me. So we're gonna level up, stun the units even though they're already stunned, and just kill them. So half their damage down, our units buffed up a bit more, and their unit is just gonna get absolutely annihilated. You also ends up just being like a turret on your board that's just killing absolutely everything. So we have five mana, they're probably gonna attack. We don't want them to be able to kill our Yasuo. So we're gonna do this to get rid of their spell shield. So that if they attack, we can just steal Tempest them. We're just gonna open attack and kill them. I will play my part. Alright, so that's the uh, first point down. I will regain my honor. So I always see this, and I'm always wanting to get it, but it never really seems worth it on the builds I have. Like for this, stunning the same target twice when Yas was already going to kill it in one hit doesn't really seem worth it. But over here we have stun two enemies, that will be um, very good.
So I think here, um, capture is incredibly strong, especially in a cheap unit that you can kind of just save in hand and use it to capture when they play, like, if we're playing against Viego, we can just hold this in our hand. Um, they play Viego, we play this, Viego is immediately taken off the board. Um, so that's pretty good. Having some sustain with healing, nice. And then Garen's just relatively strong. So no one that really synergizes too well with stuns, um, but this will be pretty good. All right, definitely want to always go go towards champion chests. So we're re-rolling a bit more aggressively now. Um, we want to be sure we can get uh, Yasuo. Perfect. As especially before you have too many Yasuos in your deck, um, you want to be sure you're drawing one early in the game. Does death follow me or peace? We'll just play two of these, try to get some more um, damage down. Closing in on the mark. So we're going to play our Blade twir Twirler so we can start scaling. We're just going to block with our um, Scouts. We don't particularly care about them. Alright, so we won't attack with y Yasuo since he won't be strong enough. Pick on some of your own speed. But the Blade Twirler will be able to kill anything trying to block it. Unless, of course, they do that. <laughs> But this is fine, they can have a very full board, it's about to get white. Destiny waits. No cure fools. He really wanted to pause for dramatic effect there. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so we're going to hold off. We're going to wait until they potentially try to attack. Alright, so we'll just stun both these units. Just getting our Yasuo to scale up even more, so we can just open attack and do a large amount of damage if we want. Just debating whether or not I want to play with Garen, but yeah, I think I'll just My fate, your turn. play Yasuo first. Apparently, I don't have anything to play. I'll put Garen on the board. And sword for Demacia. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. The dark beckons. So I'm just making sure I have enough to stun both their units. But I also want the Blade Twirler to be out to stack from both Thank those stuns.
It's too late for you. So we don't really care about the Shadow Assassin. And we think that even if they play their Mark of the Isles, this won't be strong enough to kill Garen. If it does kill him, it's not that big of a deal. But So yep, they put Mark the Isles, but he still is strong enough that he's a tank. Now who's got the upper hand? Underestimate me. I dare you. Yeah, these units that don't really go with your overall game plan, uh, you're fine to sacrifice them. You want to try to keep your ones that are scaling with the fresh stuns. Catch. Well, it was fresh. Here's our chance. Oh, Alright, so we'll just open attack and light. win. One step closer to redemption. So, nice just one cost stun, perfect, and then granting us an epic item, amazing. So we already have spell shield. Spirit stone, not gonna be useful in too many situations. Challenger's not bad. But we could definitely try to get something better. One less cost is pretty good. Definitely want to have him on board as soon as possible, just so that he can... Um, sit there as a turret and just kill everything at the start of the round. So that's the thing, normally you're just being defensive, you're keeping them from being able to hit your nexus, and then at the start of every round, Yasuo is just killing whoever he needs to. So we'll hold on to the Bright Steel Protector, just in case the Zoe gets out of hand and starts scaling out of control. We have that to reel her back in. Uh, Yone will help with clearing their board if we, um, or if they're just getting too many units. So this unit's probably going to get silenced right away. Well... Yeah, we just won't play anything. Today, base camp. Tomorrow, the summit. Will these gems help me on my journey? I certainly hope so, cousin. Death is like the wind, always but Zoe, look what I found! They're made of stars and make stars! Cool. So I'm gonna actually use the concussive palm to stun Zoe immediately, just so that they can't spell shield her. Because yeah, they would have played this and likely played it onto Zoe. So there's that consistent board wipe. So close. Now we can just Lay open attack and try to get life. some damage down on their nexus while they don't have any blockers. Strong body, strong mind. Think you're fast? Cute. <laughs> But you can just see how crazy their removal is. Just the start of every single round, two of their units are getting killed. Like, 
It's it's pretty crazy. Now we still have other units or other ways to get rid of them too. So if they attack, we'll just stun. Alright, since there's two of them, and we just don't want to take um, Nexus damage, while well, we probably have more than enough just to play it safe, we'll stun them both. But now our Yasuo is stronger, as well as our Blade Twirler, so we can just open attack and win the game. Some things never die. <laughs> They're gonna stun one of our units, or try to. No cure, fool. All right, so there's Zoe down. As you can see, Yasuo is not too difficult to play. He's a pretty simple concept, and you can win games with him um, very easily, um, at least as long as you have him on the board. So, Quick Strike Blade. He's not someone that actually really scales off of um, attacking, necessarily. And then when he's first on the board, um, it's decent now that he's cheaper, but he's still not potentially the strongest unit. Um, Shadow Totem isn't going to have that huge of a payoff that often. So even though these all are decent, I'm going to try one more. Alright, Fury, much better. As you can see, he's constantly killing units. Farsight is pretty good, but since we're stacking so many of them, we should be able to draw him consistently. And Fury is just too good to pass up, um, especially just as an item for him. So we're not creating um, too many cards. We'll go for Raiding Party just to help out our deck a um, bit more. Uh, we'll go for Items. Yep, this looks pretty good for a starting hand. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Mages can't hide from me. That's fine. This is just here to stack up. We don't actually need to attack. Contain magic. Underestimate. I dare you. Magic must be stopped before it spreads. Here's our chance. So I could wipe the board and kill them all. But they're probably going to play another unit, and I kind of want to save that board wipe for another... for it to be a bit stronger. So I'll just attack here, um, give them the opportunity to play another card. Um, although... By stunning, we both of them would scale up pretty high, so I'll actually... I'll stun here, they probably have another unit they'll be able to play, which will be able to block, but both of them will get a lot more power, so our attack will hit much harder. Now who's got the upper hand? 
I will follow this path until the end. My kind of lesson. He was really slow today with that. But as you can see, he just gets Fury from killing each one of these. So Fury on Yasuo is very strong. He just starts scaling out of control. So yeah, they have another person that they're able to play. But now both of these units are far stronger than they would be. I mean, he's probably going to block Yasuo. If he doesn't, then we're totally fine with that. No sympathy for sorcery. I do all right. All right, so we will stun out two of them with Yone, and then we have enough to stun one more with Steel Tempest. Yeah, now they're too scared to attack, which just means they're gonna die next turn. Got the upper hand. I do all right. Underestimate. I dare you. Yeah, Yasuo is pretty crazy. Yeah. The blade above all. Closer to redemption. I'm just trying to think if there's any units with three or less health that'll really be a problem in the next couple fights. So this could be decent, especially with the draw a champion. Uh, I'm going to hold on to the Will of Ionia because with that plunder, potentially we'll be able to damage the Nexus and then just recall like their Malphite or Galio or something like that. Last Breath Rally is pretty good because um, often they're trying to kill the Blade Twirler, so at least getting some benefit from her dying is decent. Yeah, we really don't need, don't need that. I'm just gonna buy one for the extra item. All right, we have enough gold, we'll go for the spells. Seems decent. Nice four mana stun too, will be very good. So since we have two of these, I'll play one just to save us a bit of Nexus damage. Yeah, whenever you have these cheap units with um, capture on them, you normally just want to hold them in your hand for some big unit that would normally cause a lot of problems for you. Oh, 
think you're fast? Cute. Unit. Oh, it's on. Welcome to try. So I'm just thinking if we want to sacrifice her here. I think I want to hold off and see if we can use her for the next attack to get a nice big attack off. Um, but you could definitely sacrifice her here to get that rally off and attack again. Even I have good days. Here's our chance. No cure, fools. My kind of lesson. Yes, we have a nice open attack, and she's now buffed up a bit more. Attention, strike. This is fine, so we already lost the attack token from the attack. So now we're gonna get it again. And we'll just wipe the board. So he'll scale up even more and then be able to attack. Maybe I do have a future. No cure. have enough now to just kill the Nexus. Perfect. Never gets any lighter. One step closer to redemption. So we already have a cheap unit with Iceborne Gauntlet, I'd rather just focus on our Will of Ionia. So this wouldn't be bad, but I like having the two stuns for relatively cheap. We haven't really needed the sustain at all, and this is fairly expensive. Like, we'd rather spend the mana just for a Yone or a Will, really. So we'll cut that out and go take on no Viego. This world can stop me. Yasuo, nice. Yeah, we really don't need to play units early. I go where the road takes me. They gonna vengeance him? Oh, all right, that's fine. Even I have good days. Yeah, it's one of the spells to always be mindful of is they do have a four cost of vengeance. They can do another one? Alright. So we have another Yasuo in hand, so them getting rid of those, not a problem. Maybe 
Maybe I do have a future. I do all right. So they might play Viego here. She waits for yep, there it is. The My queen. So we're gonna play this just to get rid of his spell shield. Surrender to me. All right. If he doesn't want to attack, actually, I'll play. I'll play the blade twirly here oh, so she can stack up Cute. from the stuns. And even the Shadow Assassin. I want to have a good um, open attack. Underestimate. I dare you. Even I have good days. Blade never gets any lighter. Oh, very nice. The whole world will know my anger. Let the fluffy tails fool ya. Here's our chance. My you can just see how strong Yasuo is and why you want to have him on board as much as possible. So I'm going to recall him, because if he's recalled, he'll turn back into the stun. And then also, by recalling him, um, they're getting less health back from the drain. The journey doesn't get you the road right. <laughs> Just in case we need to refresh a spell shield. I dare you. I guess if we needed to, we could summon the general and probably be pretty tanky, but it hasn't really been needed at all. I face my fate, your turn. You cannot escape. I do alright. Alright, there's Diego down. And as you can see, even though that game went on a bit longer, and normally you don't want to go on these long games, um, since you're constantly just clearing their board and destroying all of their enemies every single round, um, long games are not as much of an issue. Alright, we'll go for Overwhelm. So just go for a bit more of the defensive side. Alright, we'll go see if we can get a good... well... We have a lot of gold, and we could buy some rerolls so we can actually try to get a decent power. That is a lot of Will of Irias. All right, nice. So we will take a decent amount of damage from this attack, but that's okay. Okay. Here's our 
champ. Nice, they're gonna have a very full board here. And we'll just get rid of it. Underestimate. I dare you. I will follow this path until the end. I do all right. Now we've got the other hand. No cure. So there goes, there goes their full board, and now they're essentially out of cards. <laughs> now who's got the upper hand? Even I have good days. My kind of lessons. Alright, so... There's the spider lens. Oh. Well, they killed the blade twirler, so now we have rally. One blade, one purpose. So we're fine. <laughs> one step closer to redemption. So this is really expensive, so we're not going to bother with that. We'll just... Oh, but we have so many Will of Ionias. Alright, let's buy... a couple of these. Mm, sure, that's fine. So we already have a way to spawn him. Although what we could do, which would be pretty funny, is we could buy this and just buy one of him, and then we have the other card for a cheap way to summon him, so the down cost of that costing two more wouldn't really be there. Sure, we'll maybe test that out. Oh, this would be pretty funny against Galio. Oh my word. Because so many of Galio's units don't have any power. And so that will just kill them. That would be pretty funny. That would give you a lot of Nexus health, but we don't really... Well, I guess we might as well use our rerolls. Yeah, some of these are like fine, but I'm really just looking for items for our um, cards we already have. Especially with a deck like Yasuo, you don't want too many additional cards because you want to have um, most of your deck being Yasuo, being able to grab him quite a lot. Alright, 
right, so we'll play this just because I hate Stony Suppressor. I'm actually here. A real battle. Sleeves for the guilt. So this will also work on them once we get their spell shield down. Oh look, life steal. One blade, one purpose. Our word is our bond. No one is promised tomorrow. Even I have good things. No cure, fool. <laughs> My kind of lessons. Even I have good days. <gasps> Gentlemen, ladies, the honor is yours. I feel like we have so many items, we might as well play this. Like, the stun would do the same thing, but. Journey doesn't get you the rope. No cure, fools. I do all right. So we could just attack here. Oh, I guess the right this costs six mana if you're gonna play the other version. So we'll test out if this actually works. So remember, we got one item on the Legion General. Will this show up? We have them now. So, yes. Okay, it is there. Cool. It's kind of slightly excessive, but that's fine. So now we just have to take on Galio. Which shouldn't be too difficult. Redemption. Yeah, I'm fine with just this. Looks like it's Malphite with Galio. That's fine. Alright, so I have five Yasuos, I have eight Will of Ionios. We really never need this. Like, we rarely need this. And it's taking up most of our deck. 
So I think I'm gonna cut this just to make sure we can draw Yasuo and then some of our other um, more consistent cards. Time to make an impact. That was part partly why I kept putting um, items on it, as I knew I was potentially gonna want to cut it. And so now our deck will be much more uh, streamlined. Like, look at all these beautiful cards. Instead of having like all Will of Ionia's like last time. So I'm actually not going to play uh, Yasuo here. We don't, like this is going to obliterate the weakest enemy. No matter what, it goes through spell shield or whatever. Um, and that's also why we're not going to play the Protector here to capture Malphite. We are going to um, summon the Blade Scout and kind of let him be the <laughs> sacrificial lamb to just die. So yeah, we're not going to bother with blocking. This is gonna be able to kill him. Underestimate. I dare you. I go where the road takes me. Try to keep up. So we could stun, but I want that item to go on Yasuo, not the blade twirler. I'm not bothering with Galio uh, since he has spell shield. Okay, that's totally fine. Alright, so since we could just. Um, win next round. I will actually do this, even though it's going to give it to the Blade Twirler. We want Yas or um, Galio to get uh, stunned twice, so he'll just get killed, and we can open attack to win. Hold that off, but that's fine. We're still getting rid of half of their health. Right, that's going to obliterate the weakest enemy. Yeah, he's main purpose is the stun, so him dying is fine. Dare you. So 
yeah, we'll just play another big unit. Just so they'll have an even harder time of trying to stop our next attack. We have them now. Our mountain groves are full of dangers, but I know them all. Here's our chance. Even I have good days. Be brave. Underestimate. I dare you. My kind of lessons. Alright, so this should be Yasuo finishing off Galio. As you can see, you're a fairly defensive champion, but as long as you have Yasuo on the board, you are very strong. Hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you were able to um, learn something. And again, if you want to watch our part one, that'll be pinned down below. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if you did, as we're putting out that daily content. And have a great day. Thank you so much for watching that video. We're putting out daily content for Path of Champions, so if that interests you, please like, subscribe, hit that notif notification bell, and comment down below. We're just starting out here on YouTube, trying to grow the channel, so any help is greatly appreciated. Thank you, and have a great day.